Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a book of the month club unboxing. So you might be wondering, why does it say January? Well, I have a fantastic answer for you, and it goes right back into my booktube newbie uh, book tag video. So if you have not seen that, I invite you to take a look. Uh, the reason that I uh, have January written on here is because I actually haven't opened one of these since probably September. I have a stack of, so gross, I have a stack of them. And my fiance was like, well, why are you why are you still buying them if you're not reading books? And I'm like, because I want to. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this will force me to get back into the hobby that um, originally saved my life. So that is why I started BookTube. However, why we're here today, I'm going to be unboxing my January book of the month uh, box. So this is my, oh, hold on. Let me show you it correctly here. This is my Melly Machete. I have a fantastic friend that I met through the diamond painting community and she sent me this so that I could continue to bring you quality unboxings over on my diamond painting YouTube channel without breaking a nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice into this. Of course I'm not going to show you my address because internet safety, you know, that thing. So I have sliced it open and now let me just make sure. Okay, so and here is what we have in the box. So this was the book that I picked this month. It's called Girl A, and it is by Abigail Dean. So the reason I chose this book is because it is considered like a mystery thriller, which is my jam, 100%. And also, I am a sucker. Uh, oh, this is for February, isn't it? Not January. I'm a liar. I should have wrote February on it. Oh, my God. Did I even get one for January? I am... Moving on, <laughs> I also picked it because it's by Abigail. I am Abigail. So this is supposed to be like, I don't want to read you the entire uh, description. But I will go ahead and read to you a brief synopsis of these books, at least what is on Book of the Month. The synopsis that they've given for this book, it says, This haunting exploration of trauma and survival is a gripping portrait of family, violence, and memory. And it sounded really good and so this was my uh, pick of the month and of course I have no chill so I did not get one book I got three <laughs> so I went ahead and added on two add-ons and you'll see why in a second I sorry I got ready player one and ready player two by Ernest Klein so I did actually read ready player one right around the time that it came out in theaters but I ended up grabbing the uh, sort of movie cover edition. And while that one was cute and adorable and wonderful, um, I am a novel purist. I prefer the original cover or one of the remakes to a uh, movie cover. That is my personal preference. I'm sorry. Uh, but that is sort of where I'm at with that. And of course, it does say Book of the Month on the top here. And so it's not exact, but I needed it to match this one. I got Ready Player Two. Uh, I want to read this one really bad, but I kind of want to read this one or reread this one so that I can go right from this one to this one because I have a horrible habit of starting a series and going, oh, that's a really good book. And then being like, but I want to try something else. And then I try something else. And then... <laughs> It's been six months and I've only read book one. Or even worse, it's been years. <laughs> so uh, I will go ahead and read the synopsis for these ones really, really quickly. Let's see. So book of the month's quick take for this one is going to be, if you access the simulation with a new state-of-the-art rig immersion, it was almost impossible to tell the oasis from reality. So a lot of us know what this is about, so I'm not gonna waste your time with a in-depth version, but this is basically like, you're living in another world, but you're really just using a game. And it's it's really, for me, what I took away from this book, yes, I picked up a book I already read. <laughs> what I took away from this book is more of a try and be in reality because whatever world you're in is not the real world. So a little bit of a uh, fantastical sci-fi book 
mixed with a really good message, in my opinion. And then as far as this one goes, Ready Player Two uh, by Ernest Klein, same author. This is book two. So book of the month's quick take for this one is the long-awaited sequel for Ready Player One. So not much information to be gleaned from this one, but I mean, obviously it's a sequel, so we don't want to we don't want to ruin this one for you before you've read this one. So these three books are what I picked up for February's book of the month. I intend to go back and open all of the boxes that I missed and that will be a future video. So for today, that is it. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. Alright guys, I hope that you are being safe, washing your hands and taking care of yourselves. Bye guys.